गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज अवर सेकेंड पार्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज जे यू आई ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टेक्सट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट लेट्स कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर सो पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन द टास्क बार द टास्क बार कैन बी सीन एट द बॉटम ऑफ द स्क्रीन एज अ लॉन्ग हॉरिजोंटल बार इट हैज द स्टार्ट बटन ऑन इट्स लेफ्ट साइड and the notification area on the right side the middle section of the task bar is known as quick launch bar the task bar can be dragged to any of the four sides of the desktop okay as from this paragraph we get to know that our task bar is basically divided into three parts that is left of the task bar right of the task bar and the middle section of the task bar on the left of the task bar we get our start button and on the right side of the task bar we get the notification area and rest area is known as quick launch bar where we get some of our pinned programs this long horizontal bar by default we see this on the bottom of the screen but it can be dragged or placed at any four side of the desktop let's read the next paragraph whenever we run a program its button is automatically placed on the task bar we can activate the application window by clicking on its task bar button clicking the button again will minimize the application window when an application is active its button is highlighted in a lighter shade and appears to be pushed in the windows task bar provides the easiest method to switch between active programs we all are very much familiar with all the activities that is described in this paragraph that means when we open any application or a program or window its icon is displayed on the task bar further we can minimize or maximize the application window by using those buttons when application is open the button will appear in light shade and looked a bit pushed in by using these button we can easily move on any of the active windows like here on this image we can see that the ps and the excel icon are been highlighted including the firefox mozilla icon and the internet explorer that means all these programs are being running on our system as we can see that excel is having two highlighted bars in it that means there are two excel files are being active at the same time let's see our task bar one more time in detail on the left of the task bar we see our start button after that we will see some pinned programs that is pinned on the quick launch bar area of the task bar as in this image we can see that some of the programs are being highlighted with a square all such programs which are highlighted with our square and looks a little lighter in shade 
are all active programs that means all these programs are being running on our system whereas all the non highlighted programs are not running on our system but they can be quickly accessible that means they are get open on just a single click next we will see our notification area beside that notification area we are having an arrow peak button this arrow peak feature is new in windows 7 this arrow peak button will show us the desktop directly and will transparent all the open windows on the notification area itself we see some notification icon along with date and time this was our task bar now let me introduce you about our desktop how it looks on windows 7 as in this image we can see several things on our desktop we are having again we will start it from the taskbar itself okay as in this image we can see the taskbar is at the bottom of the screen first on the left side we are having a start button and when we click on this start button we will see a menu that appears and that menu we call as start menu next we are having a icon which will group all the open windows together after that we are having some pinned programs on the quick launch bar area of the taskbar next on the right side we are having our notification area along with arrow peak button at the right most corner of the taskbar on the above of the desktop we can see the icon we are having a wallpaper like we have in general next at the right top corner of the desktop we are having a desktop gadget which is a clock as we can see on this image a window is open and that window is explorer window so this is a basic or uh, we can say that in general our desktop will appears or shown like this only with certain small changes like whatever window we open or active is shown on this desktop area let's read our next topic that is start button the taskbar has the following three main section the task button this is probably the most used button on the windows desktop when we click on the start button a menu displaying the major option appears this menu is known as start menu the options present in the start menu provide access to the main program on the computer okay the start button is the most used button on desktop when we click the start button a menu will appear this menu is also known as start menu start menu will display all the important software along with some some recently used software names this 
Start menus allows us to work with all the software or programs that are stored in our computer. As we can see in this image. As we click on the start button, we see a menu will pop up. That menu is named as start menu as shown in the image. Let's move further. Next is a notification area. This area contains the clock and other program icon which provide the status and notification about the programs running on the computer. For example, the antivirus program, software updates, sound, speakers, battery stat status, date and time, etc. Notification area, it is present at the right corner of the taskbar. It contains clock, date and some icons like speaker to adjust volume. Notification area also gives us information about some of the common programs running on our computer like antivirus program, software update, battery status, internet connection related signal status, etc. As in this image we can see. Next is quick launch bar. The quick launch bar provides an easy and quick way to open the programs. This is the area between the start button and the notification area. Here you can add commonly used programs such as Internet Explorer, Word application, Tux Paint program, etc. These can be opened or launched with a single click. Quick launch bar. As we know that the middle section of the taskbar is quick launch bar. That means the area between the start button and notification area is called quick launch bar area. On this area, we can pin our most commonly used or most frequently used program so that they get directly accessible on just a single click. As you can see here, here Mozilla Firefox is an icon of a software that is pinned on this quick launch bar area of the taskbar and is also known as quick launch icon which can be directly open with just a single click. Not only this uh, Firefox icon, we can also add any of the program from our computer system that we use very much or very frequently. This is all for now. Next week, we will continue the same chapter. Till then, thank you.